What is going on Babylonians? It's Songs of Rays again, back with another legendary guide. I'm going to be looking over the Bulwark Shotgun and what makes the mod and the gun just that good right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down, we're going to show a little bit of gameplay as usual, and let's get into it. Now on the surface, this shotgun doesn't look very special. Bleed is one of the weakest damage over times that you can apply in this game. And because it's an automatic shotgun, it just doesn't boast the power that comes from just having a pump action shotgun. Uh, but what it makes up for is the rate of fire, the amount of rounds that you can just put downstream, just in just from holding the trigger down, it's just insane really. It makes a lovely backup weapon without any kind of round based skills on top. But but the bleed kind of ties in with another armor mod that, so that, that you've seen, which is level 2, which is Vampiric Mag. Now, why the, it's funny that I mentioned the rounds thing, because this mod, or this gun as well, is being used in conjunction with that uh, armor mod of Vampiric Mag to be able to constantly regenerate more and more ammo to be able to keep that high DPS going. Now, shotguns themselves are primarily used on the Trickster class, and that's because the Tricksters are allowed to get up uh, up close, admit all that DPS that they can and then get themselves out to safety. Uh, but they also can be used to, to a great extent on the Devastator. Now I haven't been able to get my Devastator up to level 30 to be able to look into builds or anything, but I do know that it goes quite heavily into the bleed and I do know because it's a tank that it's designed for close range combat. So why should you use the Bulwark? Let's be honest. Uh, like I said, it's good for close range, it's good for dispatching enemies, it's good for when your round based uh, kind of skill is out of ammo and you need to fall back on something that's got some kind of punch, especially in those higher ones between CT12 and CT15. Um, the, mod, the mod itself is perfect to extract as well. Like I said, Vampiric Mag and this go hand in hand to be able to constantly keep your ammo going. So they can go perfectly on an assault rifle, it can go perfectly on a double gun, it can go on an LMG, it can go on other shotguns. It essentially keeps your 50%, as long as you're getting those killing blows, and as long as the bleed's there, you're constantly getting 50%. Now I guess an argument could be made, which is better, the gun or the mod. Now the mod goes into a variety of builds. Like I said, it's universal. It can go onto something, you can be able to keep any, like your pyro, it can keep your trickster, it can keep your Technomancer's rounds from staying active, which is what gives you a lot of your DPS, let's be honest, where most of the builds that are out at the moment rely on that and focus on that, and you need something to be able to constantly regenerate. And the little bleeds that you get on the side, yeah, okay, it's nice, but it's not exactly gonna be the one that's finishing off the, the enemies, especially in those higher rounds now, is it, let's be honest. But the gun itself is actually pretty strong i mean it's it's it, granted this is ct10 but still it's, it's it's wrecking house it's it's going through things and I, that, this is without a powered up bulwark this is not a level 51 by any means uh, and i can only just imagine the amount of havoc that you can cause um granted ct15 i wouldn't recommend running into a room and trying to clear everything out with an automatic shotgun but i guess that you know with if you're a trickster you could probably get away with it with a certain amount of skills so I, I guess the it's it's kind of a risk reward kind of thing that the the mod is brilliant just generally across the board for every class uh there's just no doubt about that you know it's it's definitely up there uh just for all the synergy with all the other mo armor mods that are out there um but the gun is just a bit more niche and i guess you could say that the mod is is better in that kind of regard so let's be honest the bulwark is great it, it's 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 a good gun it's it's definitely up there but we all bought it from Tiago to be able to get that legendary mod, to be able to get the vampiric mag, to be able to constantly regenerate that ammo, and I, I can't argue. That's a, there literally is no argument for the other way around. So I'm gonna have to say this is a scrap it gun, not because it's a bad one, but just because the mod is that much better uh, than what the gun can actually ever do, um, and therefore this one recommend a scrap uh, and just place it onto pretty much any gun that you can and just have that vampiric mag ready to go so that is it ladies and gents i hope you've had a you've enjoyed yourself i hope you've learned something i hope you've uh just been able to see what the gun can do uh and whether it's worth actually spending all those drop pod resources i know mine was worth it and i guarantee you there's at least you know <laughs> several thousands of players that have also done the exact same thing and are very happy with their purchase um, if you do pick this up and you do dismantle it or you do find another way of uh, to be able to use it, 
hit us up in the comments. Drop, uh, drop something on there. If you disagree with what I've said, feel free to kind of put a comment in there. I'm more than happy to have a conversation with all of you. Uh, but yeah, as always, if you've enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one.